yeah, it's it's very different from just you know sitting in a classroom, especially you know as a student, I was in classrooms full of 200 people where you're just I'm not sure anybody knows you're there mm -hmm. <laughs> or not. But uh, in Osher, the classes are smaller and more personal, and it's very hard to describe the kind of difference in the learning environment. But, uh, you know, because you make eye contact with other students, you all talk with one another, the, the instructor is congenial and notices everybody and really tries to draw everybody in, rather than just sort of, okay, I'm sitting here absorbing information, I'm participating in it, which is a huge, uh, difference for most people who, who go to larger classes and things like that. And I really think it, it affords an opportunity to, to connect with other people. Uh, from the instructors, who you can talk to, of course, afterwards in the breaks, but to fellow students. I have a bunch of uh, friends I've met here at Osher, and we get together once a month now for a game day, and we just laugh and have a crazy time. So. Um, those opportunities to, to meet others who are like-minded and interested in learning things at our gray-haired age um, is, is a huge benefit. You, there's no other place like that but Osher that I know of. I, I do enjoy it because a lot of the classes are um, a one-time lecture, two hours, or they are um, two hours, but it might be only two or three or four times, and I enjoy that because it's not the big commitment. Because I'm I'm busy, and um, so I like to be able to just look at my calendar and and only devote a short amount of time to it. And um, also, it's very reasonable. So I I've taken a lot of classes. I have taken well, I've taken a lot of traditional classes. I've taken a lot of adult ed classes. And at this point in my life, I'm really not interested in formal classes anymore. And so this is why Osher is perfect, that you can just go a couple of times, a couple of weeks, mm -hmm. and explore a new topic. And of course, there, are, there aren't any grades. It's just you and the pure joy of learning. Mm -hmm. Well, I think the first thing I would say is the variety of courses. I mean, across the spectrum, from history and religion and to uh, various uh, physical uh, courses involving with yoga and so on. I think you do, doesn't, do, do, do they get involved at all with that? With, the growth and enrichment. Yeah, growth and enrichment. And mm -hmm. so I think the variety is wonderful, meeting you know, the needs and, and interests of, of, of seniors who, seniors now have time Many, many of these, most of these people that get involved with the program, I would guess, are retired. And they have time. And they're now looking for what happens in the next stage of life. What can they do to make life rich and meaningful, not only for themselves, but for their families, for their neighbors, for their communities. And so I think the OSHA program has a marvelous mission in terms of this next stage of people's lives. Okay, well, first of all, when you're taking regular classes, even though they might be uh, pass-fail or, or non-credit with continuing it, there always seems to be a lot more pressure involved. Uh, it's usually in a regular kind of academic setting, and it's longer term, you know, it goes over a whole semester, and there's a lot of preparation and reading, and it's just plain not as much fun. With this, uh, they tend to be a little shorter, they're more focused, and you're with a, a group of people that are there to learn something new, and to get their mind stimulated, and have fun. <laughs> I think it's probably different in that most of the people in Osher classes have considerable amount of life experience and they they speak from a background of different fields and so that when you get to a, an OSHA class where there's some room for discussion like Jim and Rose class on, on foreign affairs mm -hmm. people have their own perspectives and it's interesting to share this and to hear see how other people are thinking instead of just going to a class and listening to a lecture in fact 
I used to, t I used to major in philosophy in college, and, and what was really enjoyable to me in that experience was, was seminars where you sit and discuss things based upon readings. And that's Jim Monroe's format. He, he does that with his class. And I think that uh, this last class I took on world economy was the same kind of class where the people in the class had economic experience, they were involved, and so that we shared the experience of his own life as well as theirs. And that's different from most classes where you go take a lecture and listen to people talk to you about things. Well, in ours, I mean, most time taking classes is a passive, you know, basically you're on the receiving end of somebody's uh, knowledge. Uh, in these discussion groups, people are sharing their own knowledge, their own experience, the things they know. They bring a lot of things into the discussion room besides the reading material. So it's really much more of a shared experience than a lecture. Yeah, That's I think what I've found, uh, because OSHA is a membership group, and once you start taking courses, you tend to see the same faces in the different courses, and it becomes more of a community versus just an anonymous taking of courses. For me, and I think for a lot of people who come to OSHA, it's so wonderful to be in a true learning experience um, with people who have a tremendous amount of diverse backgrounds, accomplishments, and the classes do not, they're not dumbed down classes. This is not okay like classes for seniors, uh-uh. These are incredible classes that in any other environment would be university credit classes. Um, they're taught by very experienced teachers. Uh, the instructors are very patient um, and they're very knowledgeable. And I like the fact that it's the kind of environment that I have colleagues and people I can learn from just sitting next 